quick. Couple peas, break them down the court as a swing and quick. Hope to see you down to see the kids as a team. Just call me Dr. Green Dub. Let me get to them seasons and oh yeah. Uh, outside that, she was just like, hey man, my brother, man, he's good people. Like, he love what you guys are doing. Can he hit you up? And that's when I hit yeah. you up. And then, um, you know, the conversation that we had, like I said, I can't, you know, I don't ever speak for anybody else, but for me, cool. you know, I love the idea of what you're trying to do. So I asked one of some of the day ones guys to come down so they could sit and hear your proposal and your awesome. idea. But also I want to record it so that way when the, we can upload it and get people interested in it, yeah. you know, because through all of our different platform, we can generate a lot of interest. Exactly. You know, and you guys are more than willing to come and record too at that event. Like when when I get the when when I get that going, you know, I'll show that if you want to, you know, like on your podcast and stuff. Because, uh, like I said, it's it's getting to the point where I'm getting a lot of a lot more community involvement and stuff. So I mean, I've already got the permission. You're, right, cool. you're already an artist. You're not an aspiring artist. Uh, you're, you're an artist. I was I was down you're, for a while. Yeah, you're an artist. You're an aspiring community activist. Yes, and. Spiders representing day one, and I just introduced yeah. you guys like that. All right, it's awesome. I mean, it's already recorded, but we can. No, it's like, awesome to meet yeah. you, man. It really is. It's awesome to meet you, Spider. I really, uh, I, I really enjoyed when Karina. I was, I felt bad. I'm not gonna lie. I actually went to the hospital that day, man, because I was, I was having issues from the flu. I wanted to come down here and meet you that day. But uh, when I seen the video of the different different people you had showing up in the community, and I know that a lot of the politicians are out right now politicking right now so you, it's harder to get some over there but i really i really was honored to see what you guys are doing in the communities and what you're trying to do in the communities trying to create foundation to do that and that's something that i i, I want to do myself you know i've been through quite a few things like that myself and so is this one of your first events you put together or? well let, let's stop let me inter- let's let me start the video we'll start the, okay. the introduction <laughs> Sounds good. And then we can get into the conversation. I mean, I probably just I thought it was going. You said it was yeah, recording. Recording. Like, okay. recording. But um, you're good. So, all right, man. <clears throat> Welcome to BMA's, the BMA podcast. You guys know me. My name is Mesa. And what I'm trying to do here on the platform is just showcase all the movements that's going on out here in Salt Lake City in the 801. People that, like Spider right here from day one, the things that him and his boys are doing. In conjunction, you know, they, I feel privileged that they let me come to it, that they invite me to come and be part of it. And today we got the homie over here, Venom. He's an artist, an aspiring community worker. He's got an idea that he wants to do something for the youth. And, you know, I'm going to let you hear from, from him. He's here to try to see what we can do to collaborate because at the end of the day, you know, it's about our community. You know, regardless of yes, where they come from, regardless of what they look like, most of the guys that you know that move around with me, we've all been incarcerated. And we understand, you know, the misery that goes with that. And But it's not just us being in the cell, but more importantly, it's the family that we leave behind. And so a lot of these kids, they're growing up, growing up without their father figure, without their mom, because of the bad choices that we made. And we, we seem to forget, you know, that there's victims outside, that we're not the victim because we knew what we were doing and we knew the consequences, but we don't stop to think, you know, what our action, who our action affects. And, you know, being home now, you know, just the other day we were there with a spider and his uh, wife and his daughter and, you know, for the first time, really getting a glimpse of what they went through while we were in a cell. Yeah, the cell is miserable, but out here, you still got to pay rent. You got to take care of your kids. You got to make sure you have a job and and all the rest that, that goes with it. And hearing that side of the story from Spider's wife, you know, help us, help me personally reflect on, like, you know, the people that the real victims of our actions and so through that process day one myself and venom we're always trying to find spaces where we can go and reach out to the community share our stories 
And at the end of the day, it's not even that, it's just give them a place where they can come and be kids and, and get to know each other so that maybe down the road that we can prevent some of the things that go on. So without any further ado, this is Spider from day one. And this is Venom. You can introduce yourself and let them know what you're doing. Yes, I'm Venom. I'm a recording artist here from Salt Lake, from Utah. I live in Utah County now. And like Mesa says, uh, we, we all come from, from past. We've all been through situations, lived through traumatizing situations in our past and understand the, the negative outpacts that that does have on us and our communities overall. Um, some of the things that I'm working on and the reason why I've reached out to Mesa and the day ones is because I, I like what they're doing. They're out here trying to do positive things through negative. They're trying to bring light through that darkness. And, and honestly, we need that right now. We need people to reach out, teach our youth that there's other ways, at least help them. You know, it'd be nice for us to create more projects and do more things in our community. What I'm working on right now is, I, like I said, I am a recording artist. I'm working on a song called Constant Struggle, supporting suicide awareness and suicide prevention. And the reason I'm doing this is because I know what it's like. You know, I've been in dark places before. I know what it's like to put my head to the West and I wonder if I'm going to wake up every morning and asking God for blessings. I also lost a lot of people that were close to me due to this. I call it a disease because it's fatal. You know, it's a fatal disease. And I've lost a lot of people. I've lost my cousin, my aunt, and a very close friend, along with other friends that we've lost over the years. And almost everybody that I know can relate one way or another to a suicide and the effects that it causes afterwards. Like he says, just like prison, we scar and affect people. The loved ones we leave behind, like you was talking about your wife a minute ago, you know, maybe understand a little more. Yeah, we leave people behind. You know, this is something you can't change. You can't come back from. And it, and it really does have detrimental effects on everybody that you might not even know loves you and is there for you. So, you know, I want to emphasize on three main things in this song. One, hey, you're not alone. You're not alone in this darkness. Hell, even I was there at one time. Two, hey, reach out. That's what I'm calling this, reach out program, project. Reach Out Project. Hey, there's a 24-hour dedicated support line out there with people that are trained to take your call and want to hear your voice and tell you it's a beautiful day and you're going to be okay. And the third thing I really want to paint in this song, and I really do do that in this song, is, hey, you are not the only ones you leave behind suffering. These wounds are deep and people get scarred for life, man. Think about it. And, and, and that's the reason that I've come through to do this song. I was abandoned with four kids, you know, during this time. So I went through a really dark time. It's another reason why senior parents, single parents is a really serious topic. Because I know what it's like to be left with four kids overnight. Have to quit your job, figure out how you're going to take care of them. While somebody, you know, I ain't going to get into details with it. But, you know, I know what that's like. And I know there's really nothing out there. And times, have, times need to change. There's not much support out there. And I don't just say for a single father or single mother, I'm not biased. You know, single parents in general such struggle nowadays. It's not a one income society anymore. Hell yeah, no. It, it's not. <laughs> Bottom line, and anybody that tells you it is, you can tell them, Venom said they're fully you know what. Because they're, they're, they're fully you know what. But, but the reality is, is <laughs> there ain't gonna be no help unless people like us in the community are fed up with it and wanna make a change. And it's gonna take people to have a voice to speak out and do that. And I'm willing to try to do that. And I'm willing to try to establish a foundation to help single parents down the line. My first step is to get, you know, I would love to see the Suicide Awareness as Global Foundation support this project. I know they're gonna love it when it's done. We're bringing the community together for it. You know, I have uh, a couple of schools on board right now that have already approved an external video shoot for this. We're gonna get about 100 kids together, you know, red, white, and blue balloons, make some reach out t-shirts for them. And, you know, we're going to have a good day. We're trying to turn it into a fun event. It just depends on what kind of support we get for it. You know, I've been doing it myself, trying to figure it all out. And so far, it's, it's coming along really good. The song's almost finished. Final mastering's coming. And and we're ready to just move forward with it. You got a date set up for this? I am I'm trying to plan the final scene. The video, I've already paid for the video production. I have three amazing video producers and graphic design engineer that I'm working with right now. You know, they're, they're amazing. Udo is one of them. Uh, Carlos Silva is another one. And my boy, uh, Mike Russell, rated. He's a good friend, like a brother. He's also a single father. You know? So you're, it's not a, nothing set in stone on this event. It's just we're, we're, we're to the point right now where I'm getting the support. We're about to try to take it to 
I have friends that work in the community out where I live that have done political work trying to get seats and stuff that know some of the people in our city council and we're getting ready to take it to them and reserve the day. I'm just worried about weather conditions. You can only check so far ahead. I'm planning on May 11th. Though. That's the date that I'm trying to plan on scheduling the final scene. The video shoot's going to be done by the end of April. We're already going into the storyboard actually tomorrow. We're meeting up and doing the storyboard for this for the song. And uh, then we're going to be going to the final shoot. The final scene is just going to be the com community together. I have uh, friends that are in the military, active military. It's a serious issue for our military. Very serious issue. You know, suicide rates are, are, are a very, very bad and serious issue for the military. Same with law enforcement. They deal with it all the time. You know, and then I have a lot of community sport that's coming in together, and I'm going to try to make a real beautiful scene there with the kids, some red, white, and blue balloons, get them all different color shirts made up, you know, and, and just have a fun day. Like to turn it into an event. And yeah, just try to make that happen. Yeah, I mentioned on our conversations that you were trying to figure out how, uh, do you have the, the shirts that you have already like the logos and everything designed. I wanted to talk to you about that today, actually, because you told me you was going to talk to your friend. Yeah. And and uh, my 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 graphic design engineer needs to get like template sizes and stuff. That's what he told me to ask you or your friend, you know, and see. I, like I said, I need to try to find someone that's willing to do it. Like I'm investing a lot into this project to try to make it happen. You know, it's my time, my energy, my money. You know, and I don't care. I don't care. I don't mind because it's for a good cause. You know, and, and in the end, we, we, we plan on donating 30% of all proceeds that may be generated from this project directly to their global foundations, you know, just to have their support on this. Yeah. And, and that's the overall goal. That's what I like to do, yeah. you know. Well, my question is, I mean, one with the t-shirts, do you have an idea of what the logo is? I do. Okay. I do have an idea of it. You know, I really don't want to yeah. get into that yet. You yeah, know yeah. what I mean? I do have the idea of what we're going to do. And my graphic design engineer is ready to start on it once I got the size tap templates that he needs here. Whoever is going to be prince, pressing them up needs. Yeah. That's well, I mean, all I need to figure out. I go to a, a shout out to Al, Al Ra in New Jersey. Like all the stuff you see here. Amazing. He, he put it together for me. You know, we sent the design to him over there. Uh, he has a company called Pro Se. Uh, Pro Se. Uh, if you know, if you've been in the court system, yeah. Pro Se, you represent yourself yeah, Pro Se. before the yeah. judge. Yeah, I get it. You know, <laughs> I understand his, it. You know, that's his company. Cool. And he reached out to me when I was um, doing one of my YouTube. And since then, I've been working out, working with him. They print their stuff out in uh, Pakistan, but I mean, you can get a chance to see the material and stuff. That if you, you like how they look. But, um, <laughs> my, my only question is how long of a turnaround would it be? Like, what time are we talking? Because I mean, if you I'm already have this from May, yeah, if you have the logo and stuff, like I, I said on a, one of the time when I had to pop up down there in uh, South Jordan or Draper, I needed something, and he made it from start to scratch within three weeks, delivered. Three weeks uh, delivered. We got yeah. enough time, man. Yeah. We got so yeah, we'll time. talk about that later, man, and see what we want to do because I mean. There may be an opportunity there for him too in the future with whatever this may turn into. You know, you never know. Yeah, so. Well, I'm just saying, like, I can plug you in with him, or if you were thinking about like getting somebody to donate, to donate, you know, the, the shirts or whatever. See, I was hoping to try to get someone to donate their time on making them. I understand everything yeah. costs money. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. That's what I'm hoping. For. Well, I'm, I'm trying to find someone that may be willing to do that to be a part of the project. Yeah. Well, this is what I was getting at. He's saying you want 100 kids. Wearing these, wearing these clothes, right? Yes. So what do you think if like, if us in day one partner up to produce the shirt, but let's say we print up 50 shirts for your logo, 25 shirts for day one, 25 shirts for my BMA brand, and maybe, you know. We could, but I, the, the overall project, we're trying to put the picture together in this final scene. Man, I have no problem doing some stuff and representing day one clothes and everything. I got your back 100%. I like what you guys are doing. But in this video scene together, what we're doing is the whole reach out slogan because we're trying to get people to reach out and make that that call to that number. You yeah. know what I mean? If they're feeling like they want to kill themselves. That's what we're trying to do with this scene. Yeah. And, and that's that's the whole idea with that. Yeah. Now, I, I mean, I have no problem doing some work with you or whatever. Like, I mean, honestly, I'll support you in any way with it. Like, I'd love to. I'll support day one. You can be there like 100%, brother. I want them to see the causes that you're doing. I want to see the community see that there's a bunch of different causes going on out here that are trying to support better change in our communities. Yeah. 
You know, it's that that's what I want to see. But for this video scene, I, I have planned on oh, this for the video just scene? for this. Oh, okay. This is for the final scene to the video. Okay, that's what this is for. We're doing a final scene. We're gonna have the aerial drones, possible military present. You know, I, I depends. I need to. I've already reached out to, to to a lieutenant colonel here and spoke with him once in charge of public affairs here. And it just depends. I, I'm waiting until I have everything ready to take to them, like the waiver forms, having the kids' sign parents' signatures saying that their kids can appear in this video shoot. Yeah. All the legality issues, you know, I'm trying to wait till that's all done and the video's done before I take it to them to see what kind of possible military presence we may be able to get there supporting the cause. You know? Like, okay, so you're, May, you're saving for May 11th, which is probably a month and a half. A month and a half from away. From now. Do you see that if there's like a space in between there where we can get together and try to raise the funds for for that or definitely put out on our website or something? Of course. Because um, you know I don't want to put the homies uh, business out there, but uh, over the weekend, a friend of mine, his wife, you know, got in an accident and just passed away, and like you, you know, a single father, four exactly. kids, he's he's now responsible for four kids. Or, or five kids, I'm not, yeah, but yeah. I know it's a minimum of four kids. I get it. He's one of my tattoo artists that sits here. So we've been scrambling this morning on trying to figure out how to raise money for him just to help him with the situation, you know, because, you know, people in our community, we don't yeah, really I, think about life insurance or any of that stuff. So when somebody passed away, there's a lot of, you know, cost that goes into I that. understand it 100%, brother. And, you know, there's only like one time a year when I can actually do a little bit of help. You know, and I'd love to give you $100 to help with well, that, man. Well, Honestly. what I was saying is that we're in the process of planning so something. Do that. Planning something, and we're most likely it's going to be here within the next two weeks. Okay. So within the next two weeks, and maybe we can put into that program, you know, a percentage of that to help raise funds to print your T-shirt. Okay. You know, that's why I was just, you know, we're just freestyling. Yeah. Like, Whatever all of us, do. we always just go where the help is needed. You know, we have our own things that we schedule, but, you know, when people reach out to us, like right now, you know, the homie, he didn't ask for any help. He's just like, hey, can we do something where that's awesome. I can generate some um, some more business with a discount, you know, price and all that. And, you know, I'm like, yeah, yeah, for sure. But after I got off the phone, I'm like, man, let's just do something where we can bring the community because you know he's you know he's from the streets. Now he's people a know father. him. And now he's a single yeah. father. But but everybody that knows him knows he's a good dude. And and these are the types of situations I want to create a foundation for single parents for. Yeah. Because just a situation like you're saying right here can change somebody's life overnight, a whole family. Yeah. You know it's tragical. And there's so many situations, not just people leaving and abandoning their spouses. Yeah. Things like this, brother, and I'm, I wasn't meaning to cut no, you off. I'm good. sorry there, but you, you're touching on a subject to me that I can really relate to there, and, and this is exactly why I want to do things like that. So there are things in play to help people going through those yeah. types of situations. And that's my next project. That's my next thing I'm working on after this song with the other song I let you guys hear. So, so yeah, I'd love to help you with that too, brother. Because, like, you know, the one thing that I've learned since I've been home is that we have a lot of resources in our community. We have a lot of good people that wants to help, is willing to help, you know, and, you know, for us, you know, the day one guys and me, we're not just some people moving around trying to do, like we're up in ourselves, it's a support system, you know? So when times like this come up, like we rally, and we, we dedicate our time to rally up the troops to, to try to hope a homie in need, to try to hope you know, a single mother and he's like one of the homies. Give me chills, bro. That's like, I mean, that's, yeah. You're touching my heart, bro. Like, this is what it needs to be. Yeah. And, and and that's that's awesome, man. And I'm honored to meet you guys. Like, honestly, I don't say that lightly. You guys are doing amazing things. Yeah. So, is this, well, I, I'm wondering here, is, is this an event or is this a, a video thing that you're. I'm shooting the full video. Asking us to collaborate. So, what I'm doing right now is I'm trying to create a city event. That's what I'm trying to do. That's what I'm working on. Like I said, it's been just me up until recently. I'm getting more people involved. I got some friends that are going to be helping, trying to reach out to city council. So I'm going to try to reserve the park. Because if I can't, I can't get the communities, I'm not asking them for money. You know what I mean? That's not what this is about right now. But 
I'm hoping that they'll pitch in, you know, with something for the kids. We're going to do a raffle or something, try to get some bounce houses for them, just have a good day with the park and the school. But we're going to be shooting the final scene. That's what this is for, the final scene for the song that I'm releasing. And that's the main struggles. Event. Yes, this is going to be, that's what the final scene is going to be at the school. And, and that's where we're going to shoot it. I mean, I could easily just go get 100 kids and go do the scene at the school and not worry about nothing. But, you know, if I'm going to have 100 kids, there, there's going to be over 100 parents probably. And there's going to be more people. So I might as well try to make it a fun day for people. Oh, so you're yeah, that's what I'm trying to do. scene in conjunction with it. Yes, I'm okay, I would not, like to make it a event. That's what I'm trying to do. That's what I'm trying to understand. Yeah, yeah, yeah I'm sorry. Yeah, I'm sorry, yeah, man. Are no. on the video? Or yes, man. Yeah, the video is going to be done by the end of April. Okay, so the video will be done except for the final scene. The final scene, there ain't gonna be no music playing. It's gonna be that scene we shoot that and day. You're trying to make that final scene yeah. an event. Basically, oh, yeah, okay. I'd like to make it an event and we're gonna do the final scene regardless, but I'd like to make it an event. Okay. Because, I mean, if we have this many people and kids coming out, we might as well make it a fun day, man. Have something go on, get them some bounce houses and do some things. Maybe the, the I've been talking with a lot of, uh, businesses in my area already you know i'm not gonna say no names right now but you know i got some some numbers and and they, they might be willing to donate some things raffle whatever you know i want to do a raffle maybe hey get the kids some school supplies whatever you want to do you know like now we have a friend where des had, des had somebody that reached out to him they have this um i think it's like a mobile home but it's hooked up like a video arcade on wheels oh, yeah you know and he has offered like again I'm not speaking for him or anything. I'm just saying as far as like, you know, things that we can help if it's for the kids, what we can give them, like you say, a bouncy house. Yeah. So I just thought, okay, there's a, there's a mobile yeah, freaking exactly. arcade. Exactly, yeah. Like we can reach out to yeah. people. So like, my question is like, what is, what do you need from us? Or what are you looking for? And how can we help you? How, however you can, brother. I'm telling you where I'm at with things. I'm, on, I'm a straight shooter, you know? I'm not gonna lie, man. I'm trying to put together an event. I've never done this before. I've never, this is positive, you know? I've never, <laughs> I've never done that before, you know? So it's like, I'm trying, I'm trying to do something, make it fun for the kids. Like I said, I don't have an I-9 stamp with what I'm doing yet. I'd love to get it to their main foundation globally. It's, it's worthy of it. You know, and, and I'd love to get it to them and then get that. But at the same time, and tell them, I'm not asking people for cash, but hey, I like to make a nice event for the city and the community to come together and have a fun day. So whatever levels people may be able to help out with, whether it's donating, uh, you know, something from their company. You know, I have a friend that makes banners and stuff and canvas paintings. They're like, maybe we can throw some of our nice canvas paintings and do some banners for you, you know? Like they're, they're just trying to help in different ways. And I'm starting, like I said, I'm starting to get more come community support that way so it's just the beginning of the putting the event together thing i'm still scared of weather conditions i don't know how i can check ahead that far and, i mean i'm and, pretty and, sure and, if and, i may <laughs> you know, like the date yeah, the day. that's yeah. what we might have to do and that's had, what i'm trying to shoot for rain, we had snow yeah. and then on the day oh, of our please. event the sun yeah, came out and shined on it and then the very God. next day it rained again we're planning on the 11th of may for that shoot that's so, all we're planning so all, all i'm seeing second, here second. is you've got a lot of things that are not really set in stone yet so where when you do i mean I, i'm not i'm speaking for myself but yeah. i'm sure the rest of day one feel the same way too because we're, we're busy with a lot of our schedules of course work and schedule stuff we got going on and and when you get your stuff set in stone we'll have to meet again and see where you're at and if, like if it's a, it makes it simple for yeah. us to say okay this is what i got going on i want to invite you guys yeah but this is what i need help with and whether it's, where, you, whether it's just you guys showing up bro yeah it doesn't matter to me like i don't like i said i'm not coming asking for money i'm just saying if people want to get involved in different levels that's great you know if they want to you know, you know what I'm saying? Okay. I'm sorry, I'm not trying okay, to fix y'all, yeah. brother. I'm a what, bold what I, person. What I'm trying to get at is that you're trying to put this event together. Yes. We're telling you that we're Busy. willing to help you. You know, yeah. so, but we can't be running around just trying to figure out how to help how you. To help we want you to be about. like, this is what I need help with. Yeah, it's like, it's like look, I got this in place. I got this but in place, this is, and this, this is what is I your, need. This is yeah. your gig. Exactly. Yeah. We'd like to see how far and how much you can get set in exactly. stone. And, and then we, then we, we can, can pick up, we, we can fill in the spaces yeah. that you're lacking. And, and I'm just trying to let y'all, I'm in the beginning stages of trying to set up the event side of it. So there's so, 
you know, I don't need your help with music production. I don't need your help with getting any of that stuff because I've already paid and got that all handled, you know? So like, all well, that's handled. It's more about support right now. And, and I'm not talking financial. I, like, you know, I love what your foundation is doing, man. I wish I could have showed up to your little event here the other day, like I said. I, I, I wouldn't mind helping you in the future yeah. with things like I, even if it's a voice you need. Like I, I don't care. Well, that's, that's what we're getting at. But we, want, but we don't know how to help you. How, how can we help? So we're yeah, just like, okay, is it? And you're well, already helping. Help is it just bring people, brother? You're already helping yeah. me. That's what you don't understand. You yeah. already are, man. You're telling me you're gonna talk to your guy and see if we can get shirts turned around in three weeks, man. Yeah. I understand everything ain't free, man. I got, you know, we. We'll, I'll figure that out. You yeah. know what I mean? I just. Like, you're already helping me, brother. Like, like the meeting with me today, you know, is yeah. helping me. And I appreciate your time, bro. Like, just that alone is one of the biggest biggest things I got to figure out still is yeah, yeah. making you know, sure I got the kids' sizes. And I can't get the kids' sizes until I got all the waivers printed up and figured out and get it approved to get to the parents and the schools. Like, there's just so many obstacles that I'm going around right now and making happen. So, yeah. it's like... You know, so it's hard for me to say what level of support, yeah. brother. And well, I that's what I mean. We well, don't have to meet up right again. Yeah, yeah, we can meet up again, brother. When I get a little bit farther with it, I'll be able to tell you more things like that. And yeah, it would be it'd be awesome. But bottom line, I'd love to have you there. You know what I mean? Well, well, that's, you know, yeah, like well, either that's, way, that's, you know what I mean? That'd be awesome, well, man. Well, so that part, I mean, that's hey. when we talk, you know, we all, we're going to show up regardless. Of course. But like, we're also like, you know, with people that we work with, like if there's things that they need help with, we just want to understand like, okay, what is it specifically you need from us gotcha. so that we, we know how to go about achieving it for you. Understand Instead of just be like, all right, I want you guys to be a part of it. Yeah. And then yeah. we're just like, well, that's maybe I need more work. Yeah, that's that's that. that's yeah. I understand. Do, have to be the answer do your today. thing, do your thing, get your stuff going and get everything set in stone and then well, and yeah, even, yeah, yeah. And if, even if it's like yeah, with, with funding and stuff, because like, you know, we don't have like we we're not these guys are uh, 501, whatever, not probably yeah, like, everything that these guys do comes out, out of their pockets, out of their pockets yeah. and they reach out to homies in the community that are willing to always support what, what we've been doing. So if we know that this is a cause for these young, these young uh, kids, like there's a lot of people that want to help. But like I said again, it's just like, like send us in a direction. Gotta so understand what can, level yeah, of help. So we yeah, can, so can. we can be productive in trying to help. And no, you. and no, and no worries, brother. I, I, like I said today, I'm not quite, quite. Okay. Uh, it's, it's a, it's a project. It's, a, it's, it's like you got one guy right here that came up with this idea, you know, because I have a connection to it. Like they're serious. I really want to help with it too. You know, I really do. And and I've been trying to do it myself. It's the point where I'm meeting with people like you. You know, so this is this is a step forward for this project in any direction because I'm actually meeting up with like-minded people that are trying to do something positive. So that's amazing. I'm honored to be around you guys. And, and like I was saying, I, I'm not quite there with everything where people can help because in my head when you say that, I'm like, okay, I got companies asking me for I&Is because they want to donate money, you know? And I'm like, that's not the kind of event I'm trying to set up right now. I'm not curious about your money right now. That's not what this is about, you know? Like, like maybe you could do something for the for the kids, you know, have, we'll have a raffle or something to help make the event happen, you know. And that's why I'm working on things, and I'll figure out more things over the next few weeks. Yeah, and those things, like, when they had the day one event, they had a lot of different companies that, you know, they had a raffle, where they had a basket of certain yeah. things. I think I want to, you know, a lot of other crews, they donate stuff for us to raffle off. And, yeah. Yeah, you know. So that's, you know, that's what we're getting at. I want to put respect to every company that does that, you know, make sure everybody knows that that company did it, you know, like, that's, I want to make it a fun day for the kids. That's what I'm trying to do. So those are the types of things I'm thinking. If I have to pay out my pocket to get the, the park reserved, if the city won't give it to me, cool. Oh, well, we'll, we'll, we'll reserve it that day. You, oh, know? you have to pay the city to yeah, it's like $250 for the north yeah, side of it. You can't just go to the park and hang out? Oh, what the no, hell? I'm trying to have a I thought it was a not public if park. Throw, big not, if like this. not if you're trying to have a city event you involved, bro, you got to you, yeah, you make sure everything's yeah. right. And that's what I'm trying to work out now. Yeah, have a and everything. Yeah, that's why I'm trying to make sure everything's right. And then that's what I'm working on. So what's so public about the public park? You got to get your stuff together. And we'll meet later on down and then see where you're at and yeah. see how we can help you. Definitely, and I'd love to I mean, meet I appreciate you and uh, what you're doing for the community, trying to give back and everything. But 
you know, there's a lot of work you still got to do for yourself. Yeah, it is, brother. Get your program going, but we're, yeah, we're, we're learning here, first. Like, we're just learning Thank you. as, you know, yeah, we're Thank learning you. as we go to it. And That's right. Like, we'll all learn together. We're all grinding the same grind here, man. We all go learn together, baby steps, like Bill Murray back in the day. <laughs> but, like, but, um, you know, for sure, in the next couple of weeks, we're going to try to do something here. Okay. The homie that just lost his, um, yeah. his hey. girl, and, um, like you're welcome to come, Definitely. and if there's something that right there and then that we can collab to where it helps you with a project that you're w working towards, yeah, you know, you just let us know, and we'll see what can fit, and then let's move. Cause like for us, you know, we we always moving, man. man. No matter how small the steps, we're always making sure our feet is moving, yeah. and you never know because if you're sitting still. You're not getting nowhere. And we may be sure that little steps we take in this makes an impact on whatever we're doing. And whether we're trying to preach to these youth or, you know, whatever we're putting together for them, that they're going to have an impact on there. So whatever you awesome. got going on there, uh, I'm sure the boys will, they won, will we'll back you up. But you awesome. gotta, got to do your part and then we can see where we fit into that. That's good. Year. You know, and, and, I, and I love to support you guys as well, man. And anyway, you need my help. You know, I got your back too. You know, like honestly, that's what it's gonna take. Like you said, you gotta get more like-minded individuals that are trying to trying to do positive things in the community, man. And that's that's what I like to do, man. So, and I, like I told you, I like to help you with what you're trying to do right now for your friend too, as well. It's one of the times I can actually do that. So, give you a little bit of support there too. So you say you're, you've been rapping, you've been in music. Do you have your stuff where people can follow you and upload and subscribe? Do we have stuff, but you know. <laughs> <laughs> you know I'm an I was about to let you hey, plug hey, yourself hey, in, hey, you know what I mean? I'm an artist. Hey, I got songs at APG 13, and I got songs that are, but you know, what, what I noticed was a while back, man, I was sitting in the car with my kids. I said, I'm still dad with 412 at home. And I pick up one of their friends. And they're like, Daddy, show them a song. I'm sitting looking through my old stuff. Man. Can't play this one. I swear. Can't play this one. I swear. I can play it with my kids. They hear me. Like, yeah. uh, I, I've been in places my whole life where that's, I have a trucker's mom. I'm working on it. But it, it was like, man, I couldn't really play much for them. And I, I kind of kind of hit me, you know. So I've noticed like the last five songs I've recorded, seven songs I've recorded, you know. I have no... <laughs> like, like it's just, and then and then I can sit in the car with the kids. I'm like, yeah, baby, you can play that one for them. You can play that one for them. I don't know. It's, I guess it's part of maturing and growing up. You know what I mean? I can so get the same How long have you been across. doing the rap thing? How long have you been rapping? Thirty years. And we've been doing it a long time. It's taken me that long to get all the right connections, man. Like I said, you're only as good as your production. You're only as good. I don't care. You be the best rapper out there. You're only good as your production. Only good as your engineers, you're only as good as your beat makers, you're only as good as, it takes yeah. a team. And and it takes a long time to find that right team and that right energy. And, and it's just like anything else in life. You know, you have to have the right, right, right potion to make it, you know what I mean? Make that brew come, come out right. Well, right mm -hmm. now, as you're working towards putting this project to, together, is there a, do you have a, like a place where people can reach out to you that want to, be like, hey man, Brennan, what's up? What can we do? We own this company. What can we do? Hey, I'm just a private citizen. I heard what you're trying to do. I love it. Can I reach out to you? Yes, I, hey brother. Like honestly, right now I'm trying to get all of that in line too. I was MIA for like 10 years. Like I was fighting a lot of health issues. I almost died a few times. So, you know, I'm just getting back into everything. I'm about to get everything set up though before we release this. It's not, I got a lot to do this next month. Yeah. I got a lot of sites set up, a lot of different things. Rebranding our label, we're creating our own new new label. We're gonna be calling it from bottom to the top productions. You know, I'm, I you know I'm got an art author I'm waiting on after things are done. You know, I'm trying to do quite a few different projects and a lot of different things. So I'm in the process of doing all this over the next few weeks. But like when we meet up again, we can have another little chat, and I'll definitely get that info. I'll have some information set up to where we could do that by then. Other than giving my personal phone number out, and I'm not really trying to do that right now. Hey, they can contact if somebody's serious and they need to talk to me. They can call you, brother. Or, you know, they got your your information right now. You got my number, brother. You know? Do you have a name for the project? That, I mean, for oh. your project, so I know. Okay, this project. So, so when I say, yeah, yeah, you want to reach out, Venom. Oh, Venom is with so and so, or Venom is. 
whatever. I, I want to call this the reach out project because right. what we're doing is telling people on the song, you know, reach out, don't lose your ambitions. You know what I mean? We're telling them there's numbers out there to call. So I'm going to call this a reach out project for this one, just for this song. But my foundation, I will have set. I'm going to get that all. I got to go get the DBAs and everything set up before I start talking about it, you know. But I'm going to go handle that here really soon. And then, but this is just a project, a little event. The song's called Constant Struggles. But I'm going to call this project right here the reach out project. That's what we're going to put on the flyers when we have it made up and, okay. and get it going. So, uh, you know, to the viewers, this is Venom. He's doing a reach out project. He doesn't have all his stuff in, all his ducks in order yet. Hey, I knew we was coming to talk, but I didn't know we was getting detailed, baby. Come on, yeah. you know, hey, but throw you know, on the fire. But he's learning firsthand how let's we move. Go, like let's we, go, baby. Everybody that's around me, they know I tried yeah. to do something yesterday. Hey, bro, I'll pick up a torch yeah. and run with you. Yeah. Don't worry, I'm I got just you. keeping it 100 with you. Yeah. Yeah. And I respect that, bro. So. And I'm just being real with you, too, by telling you I'm, I don't got that all set up to where I can say, hey, I, I could use your help with this or this or that. Like, you're coming up with ideas. Like you said, hey, maybe we can mobile arcade for the kids. Maybe we could get all of our friends and talk about that. Yeah. that that's, a, that's that's what I'm looking for right there is people who are like, that are like-minded that can see that vision and, 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 and try to make it a good thing. And, so and whatever it you're takes, trying to brother. promote um, suicide awareness, right? And suicide prevention and suicide, suicide awareness, awareness, yes. Yeah. So, um, look. That's Venom. He's trying to put a project together, the Reach Out Project. He's trying to donate some money to Suicide Awareness, hoping they can collab with him. And we're all, we're here, me, the day ones. We're willing to help him. If you guys are out there that's watching this, that is interested in helping Venom bring his project to life and helping him get things going, like, we're not asking for money. If it's your time that you can donate, or if you're a company that you have something that might be beneficial to the youth or something, you can reach out to me through my YouTube channel. You can reach out to me on my Facebook, and I think it's called DM, right? The red <laughs> DM me. <laughs> I don't know all that stuff either, but you already know. It's I on the link below, right? Yeah, I, I answer the phone. I, you know, I answer the text. So, you know, at the end of the day, man. The kind of people that we're trying to work with is people that are sincere about the cause. And we really feel strongly that the youth is our cause. We've all, three of us sitting in this room, we've been in places where we don't want our children to be. We don't even want our worst enemy to be. And whatever movement that's going out in the city, around the country, that is, that is pushing that, that movement, Preventing these kids, giving them a redirecting their energy, so where they so they don't end up in places like we do. Man, we're all about it, man. It don't matter what race you are, don't matter what background you come from. If you're about trying to give the kids opportunity and another way of life, man, we're all in neck deep. I appreciate your time, Venom, for coming through. Hey man, thanks for having me by, man. It was nice meeting you guys. I know I'm a talker, man, but hey. <laughs> Hey, we on the same page, I believe, at the end of the day. We're all trying to make something good happen. And, and it's so, an honor to meet you guys again, like I've said a few times through this. I'm looking so, forward to doing some good Yeah, things. stay tuned. This ain't the last of it. Once he gets his stuff figured out, he'll probably be back to let you know where you can link up with yeah, him. Yeah, we'll get you a little sneak peek. Yeah. 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 <laughs> you can reach yeah. out to me and, you know, stick with us on this program because, like you say, we're trying to do things, man. We're not, this is ain't... This ain't about no t-shirt, no. this ain't about an event, this ain't about what these guys are doing or what I'm doing, it's about a movement. And that movement is, at the end of the day, is to prevent our kids from being fed to the system. And thanks for tuning in to the BMA Podcast. Put that back, man. <laughs> My pain, too glory, five, six, one thirty, still hitting like I'm too full. Take a walk in the life, the G day keeps you can not stand. Take a walk in the night up on my street, you better not panic. <laughs> Feel my agony, pain caused by family, baby, mother, this raggedy, brother, this backstabbing me. And shit, they branded me, not fit for humanity. Pops try to save me, mind, we just abandoned.
to me, imagine me. No faith, so with no patience. From a kid left alone in the cold basement to a man that's full grown, gone, but no statement. Judging me only if they would listen. Why was they frowning and doubting before the past I was living? Pay my debt to society, just don't be unforgiving. Lest they treat us all equally, naturally, we'll keep sitting. Now, can you save me? I read my curse for my sins. Really didn't want to spend my life the way that I did. So naturally through things to be I grew up rough as a child Within a lower class environment I learned to survive Learned how to strive and climb above the high I heard for that Taking chances while provoking others No one was best Never sheltered or provided with the humble environment Learned the system like to make us pay Yeah, that made me violent Still through these years I tamed my fears Learned to deal with his madness Now I clearly understand how people turn into addicts Losing their values and their morals Hide their pain in a habit Just to find a way to lose the pain They deal with his madness Now who are you to see in judgment? For the crimes I committed You'll never comprehend the things we do And tell you go live it Don't get it twisted It's a savage jungle cold and nice And if I gotta feed my children I'ma roll with the dice dice Ask me why I can't hide, open, bust yeah. my strap. You know why I got a thug like that? I was raised in the streets, don't win, you don't eat. Yeah. And that's why I am who I am. You don't know about my life. And you don't know the pain that I've been through. They say I ain't right. But the streets, but a beast with the streets turn me into. into. Yeah. yeah, hey, something, bro. That's fun. <laughs> it's a dope beat, but hey, you know it's dope. Like, all those I can act like, like I rap, but I don't rap. <laughs> Just so y'all know, though, when, when a motherfucker gets some confidence. I'm just warning, forewarning you right now. Don't be mad when it happens, because I warned you. <laughs> the world's in trouble. Believe it. Let it be known. Get him. I'm the manager, so if you want to talk to the homie, you got to come through me. <laughs> you know, I don't know how to talk. He going to figure it out, though. Yes, sir. It's what we doing out here in the 801, man. We keeping it raw. We trying to build a movement. And like, I'll people that's with, that's with the program, come on through. And if you ain't... Tell you right now, we ain't got no egos, no room for hating. <clears throat> we trying to bring the you up where it's supposed to be. Because right now, nobody respects us. They will, though. They, they will. Nah, and the problem it's we coming. have out here... It's just, you know, we're, we're in a small pot, right? So we're influenced by everybody else around the country and around the world. And we got a lot of these dudes that's trying to push some. But at the same time, they're just emulating things that other people have been doing instead of creating their own path. And that's what we're doing out here with BMA, with Evolution Tattoo, with the Day oh. One homies. Like, we're creating our own path and making our own mark. And we want to invite everybody to come and be a part of this movie because like yeah, he said man. we ain't got no egos there ain't no hating but if you ain't about the program we ain't trying to waste our time with you so get with the program hey, just know venom got your back bro 100 percent, man on you your that, projects i got your back man let's I, let's do it it's, it's, and it's motherfucking game time <laughs> ain't no way you gonna take mine cali getting old boy time to let the lake shine <laughs> okay okay I'm just saying. Oh, we, we started some west coast I'm beef out here <laughs> Cut! Cut! <laughs>